Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing how I created this tessellation animation in Figma using interactive components. I got a bunch of requests on Twitter when I showed this. People are like, what is this sorcery? How did you do this? Uh, it's actually super simple. I promise I'm not that smart. It's just a simple um, T shape with a couple angles that are spreading out and coming back together on an infinite loop. So I have another idea for an animation that I haven't made yet and it's using the exact same structure. So if you'd like to follow along, please do. And this will kind of teach you how to create your own. There's so many different variations and things that you can dream up with this formula. Um, I remember seeing a bunch of stuff that Miggy was creating and it kind of inspired me to go down this path and try and create something of my own. So uh, Miggy, thank you for showing the world how to do this trick. So to start off, um, I just drew out a hexagon, so I pulled out the polygon tool, bumped up the angles, and then pressed Command E to expand it. So now once you have your hexagon, I'm just going to draw out some guidelines. So I'll do one for the Y axis, one for the X axis, and I'm basically going to be creating a square. So now that I have my lines in place, so I'm basically just trying to draw out a triangle and I'm going to cut this shape out. So you'll see in a second that um, I'm basically just going to cut out this corner of the hexagon using subtract so that I have this diamond and I'll press command E again to expand it and I can get rid of the guidelines. So I want this one to be white and I'll press Command D to duplicate it and then Shift H to flip it horizontally. And I want this side to be black. So I was just holding Shift just now and rotating it. Now I will select everything and turn it into a component. I'm going to press Command R and call it square. And now I'll just add my variants. So the first one is going to be closed and the second one will be open. So now I'll select the open one, hold alt, and I'm just going to pull out a bunch of them to start creating my pattern. So I want that about there and now press command D So to do this, I'm going to select this square. I want to turn off clip contents and I'm going to make my variant container a lot bigger and you'll see why in a second. I'll start off with the pink top. So just hold shift and move it up until it's landed on the container above it or the square above. Make sure that is on there nicely. So because these are all components, everything is happening live as I'm moving this. Same thing down here, just move it down and over until it lands on the next square. So now you can kind of see how this is working. Um, and it is very simple and you could dream up so many different possibilities with this. All right, cool. So it's not exact math in here, as you'll see, um, but it is, sort of doing the trick for the most part. Um, so now I can just come in here and draw out a frame. So I'll make my frame about that big and I want it to be blue in the background. So now what I need to do is add my interactions. So now that interactive components are out of beta, everyone should have access to this. So you can go inside of this variant set and then I'll just drag a connector onto here. So I want this after delay, um, we'll say 600 milliseconds. And I'm gonna actually add a custom easing because I want it to spring over and then really slowly fall into place, kind of like that. Um, and then I can just come in here and select this animation, press Command C. And if I come down here, I can just press Command V and copy that animation going backwards. 
So now I have the same exact easing that I created over here. And now I'll just select this container and make it a starting point. So we know that it's flow six. So if I come in here, you can see that everything is working as expected. And this is really, really easy to do. You could do this with a lot of different things. So if you guys come up with something cool, please share it with me. And if you found this helpful or informative, please leave a like and subscribe for more related content.